readings in this video, I want to discuss a little bit about a, what a tracheosomy is. And that's a tracheosomy as opposed to a tracheotomy. There is a, a distinct difference between the two. And I have my lovely aunt here who is uh, helping me demonstrate what one is. And I want to tell you what the goal is when you have one. So my aunt recently was in an accident and unfortunately she was put on a ventilator three times and um, couldn't take the ventilator and as opposed to, to risking getting a fourth time done, they went ahead and did a tracheosomy on her because she started getting swelling in her throat, edema, and they were worried that they couldn't do it a fourth time. So you'll see that these were performed a lot during the pandemic. Um, and the whole point is to have your body, your throat heal in order to get proper airflow. So what a tracheosomy is, is, is it's a small incision that they do. And it's usually not a major inc uh, incision. It's usually done in the ICU, not in a major surgery application. It's a little surgery and it goes directly to the trachea. And the whole point is that you can get air, constant airflow directly to the lungs quicker than as opposed to, you know, the throat. So a ventilator would, of course, would go into the mouth with a long tube several inches deep, and that will irritate the throat. So that's why they appointed, they decided to do that. That way you have a direct airflow, um, and that will give enough time to heal. And then from there, she had a, a uh, she had a ventilator connected directly to her trach with, with ventilation in there so she can breathe. As you can see right now, her oxygen is at 91, which is a little low. You want it to be 95 to 100, but that's still good compared to what she was. Now you can see there, she's got like a, they would call it a cap that you put on there. And a cap is actually a transition. They initially gave her the speaking valve that looks like this. And that basically just plugs in to the tracheo tracheosomy and what that does is, is that gives an airway to where you can have you can take that cap off to put the ventilator or have access to and but it also this part here serves as like a partial airway to where you'll have air going through this through the trach but also your mouth so it gives you the two options and this is actually kind of like training wheels like on a bicycle it's like a transitional piece um, they also call this a speaking valve, but it's also called a um, a passy is the is the official name for it, passy and um, and it'll help you speak. Um, I was happy to to know that she spoke in her regular voice perfectly with this. Now, a tracheotomy as opposed to a tracheosomy is a more major surgery that they do in a major surgery application that goes directly into the windpipe. Um, and it's more of a, 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 a deeper hole, and it can be a permanent situation. Fortunately, the tracheosomy is more of a temporary situation in order to get healed, and that could take, you know, anywhere from two weeks to heal to a month. And from here, she's going to go to a rehab to help her get moving, but to also eventually get that replaced, and um, not replaced, but eventually have it removed completely. So what they did was is, they took this off and they put this cap on. Now, when she did have the, um, the uh, speaking valve in, she would cough up phlegm and you'll see a lot of patients will, will actually um, get pneumonia and cough up phlegm and, and liquid. And that's one reason that they're on the tracheosomy. And what would happen is, is we would unplug this uh, speaking valve and as she's coughing she a lot of phlegm would come out of this piece here the hole and we would get tissue and we would drain it out here and there's they also have like a a tool that they would actually go through to remove some of the the phlegm and the mucus out um, of that hole to help them breathe better all right so um, fortunately she's been on this four days now and now they're, she's got the cat, what they call a cap on. What the cap does is, is it gives direct airway from the lungs to the mouth. So basically, it doesn't give you this, this basically this, um, this aid, this trans, transitional piece. 
and it's basically training your body to work normally from your lungs directly to your mouth. And she was able to go five hours yesterday, and the goal is, is to increase the hours. And the ultimate goal is to go 24 hours without um, without using the uh, the uh, passy mirror. You want to go with that complete speaking valve. If she can stay on that speaking valve with no oxygen, then you know she's on the right track, and then they'll eventually remove it. So this is a good thing that they have the cap on. Um, and uh, if you're hesitant for your loved one or you to get a, a tracheostomy, I'm telling you it's 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 non-invasive. Of course, take doctor's recommendation. Don't take my advice. Just go go with what the doctor suggests and what what you know how you feel. But um, the doctor recommended highly recommend doing the tracheostomy. We're glad that we did it because there's no re reason to take risks. Um, and uh, we've been very, very happy with it, and she should get her voice back. Usually a tracheostomy is not permanent. Um, and then we're on the road to recovery. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and have a good one.